Let's give it a whirl. We're going to give it a whirl. See what happens. Ugh. Go underneath. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Ha 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 ha. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. I don't go under. Well, I do. I just went under, didn't I? Just went under. Okay. I'm kind of in silhouette here, so you might not be able to see. I'm trying to go round the corn. The corn. All right. Let's um turn it around this way. Might be able to see. There you go. Look at that. Bigger than me. Well, this one's the same size as me. This one's bigger than me. Um, it's kind of shot up in the space of one month. The last episode we did was July the 1st. It is now August the 8th, I think. So in the space of one month, look at this. Remember, I don't know if you remember, it was like knee high to a grasshopper. Well, maybe not a grasshopper. It was about, can you see that? Waist height. Um, I might put some shots from the last one, edit into this one, so you can see. That might be a good idea. So here we go. Nice little block of corn. Um, probably too tightly packed, to be honest with you. But I've got a small garden, so I've got to make the most of it. And um, I thought some of them would die off, but they haven't. <laughs> So we've got a big, mad block, and we'll see what happens. It's growing nicely, nice and green. It's where we like it, in the Godi, the garden of Daddy Aisha. So, but it's kind of sprung, corner sprung. Look at this, let me spin around. And we've got all these Boris Johnsons. Look at that, Boris Johnson. I'm the prime minister now, ha 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 ha. Looks like Boris Johnson, doesn't it? Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, mate. Corn. Going all the way down. And all the way up. And it's reached up to where the, the passion bush. Can you see that? Going all the way across there. Let me hold this up in the air so you can see. Yeah, there's a, cr there's a clash of civilizations as the corn reaches where the corn. Yeah, see? Can you see this? which is where all the um, passion flowers on the, on the line coming all the way up. And you know, the, the grains, as you can see, the pollinating corn spikes are doing their thing. And all the pollen falls off and goes down onto the Boris Johnson's, the silks down there. Look, there's one down there. So, so it all falls onto that. It's self-pollinating plant. All the pollen falls on. And each one of those strands is connected to a kernel of corn and it's pollinated and it produces that kernel. So in case you didn't know, that's how it works. So yeah, one month's worth, one month's worth of growth. So imagine if you could grow that high in one month. You could grow that much in a month. It'd be scary, eh? Look, there's another one down there. See that? Boris Johnson. Uh, I'm the Prime Minister now, ha ha ha. I'm in Brixton, growing in corn. Yes, and we're not in the EU anymore. This is British corn, ha 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 ha. This is Brexit corn. See it there? Brexit corn, right here. Sunny South London. Believe that. Anyway, if we go over to this side, if you remember last time, they were really small. And uh, these are planted like six, seven weeks apart. We plant them six, seven weeks apart, plant apart so that we don't get loads of corn all at one time. That was the idea. But for some reason, only one, two, three, four, five, is it five, six. Only six of them came up. But in this bed, I put some more corn, but I planted it directly into the ground just to see if it would work. I usually, you know, put them in the um, germinator. We've got a couple coming up. Little ones coming up. There you go, there's one coming up. So we'll see, we'll wait and see. But this is like an experimental bed this year. And uh, if it don't work, I'll just dig them up and put something else in here. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this soil, but I originally planted three butternut squashes in here. And within the space of 
a week and a half, they all died. So I don't know what's going on with the soil. Um, so we had some problems with this bed this year. I think I know what I did. <laughs> I think what I did, I put two, I got some a compost bin over the end and I took some compost out and kind of just flung it in and you don't, you're not really supposed to do that. You have to mix down the compost because it's too strong. It's like putting Ray and Nephew <laughs> straight. I know some people can handle that, you know, Silent Hill. Some of them Jamaica mans and women can handle that. Straight, neat, out the bottle. But um, yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be a veteran to be able to do that. You gotta be, you know, you gotta have skills in that department. So anyway, the, the, the soil, was a bit too rich, a bit too powerful, a bit too, is it acidic? I think it's acid, it comes out there, acidic, I think. And vegetables like alkaline, they don't like acid, so, so it weren't working. Anyway, it's the rain and the, the lime that I put on there has kind of kicked in and it's helping it to balance out now. So, as you can see, these ones managed and get a nice shot of that. They manage, they manage to break out of the soil and they are doing okay. So they're seven weeks behind the big corn over there. So in a, maybe a few weeks time more, they'll catch those ones up and we would have had our first corn, hopefully. Yeah, so it's all good. Beautiful, I like the way these grow. They look so green and luscious and I've still got my cat deterrent bottles around which I should be taking off anytime soon because once something is growing in these beds the cats don't come in here it's like they're scared scaredy cats anyway so I'll be ditching that in a bit look at this beautiful passion passion fruits look everywhere where there was a flower, one of these little passion fruits is developing nicely. That was a flower. That's where the flower was. Yeah. And there was loads of them. So all along here, all along this bush, we're going to have loads of passion fruits. Look, here we go. There's one under here. Can you see that? Right there. Some of them have already gone orange because this is the orange variety. Some of them are already gone. Let's see if I can find one. And there's still some more flowers up there even. In the back there, underneath. There's still some flowers. Still coming up, coming through. Some orange ones down the end there. I don't know if I can get down there because it's a bit thick. It's a bit thick. There you go. Orange one right there. So that's a passion fruit. And there's all these little red jelly inside, jelly seeds that you eat. There's another one up there somewhere. Orange one, I don't know if I can reach it, I'm trying not to. It's a massive spider web here and I'm trying not to walk through it. Yeah. Okay. So all the way along, passion fruit's gone. That was like a clothesline <laughs> and it's just taken it over. It's gone all the way down to the other end of the garden. Cool, cool run-ins. Let's go over to the butternut squash. Last time, last time on Garden of Daddy Aisha, we looked at the butternut squash and it was like three little plants. One, two, three. Here, you can see my um, frame for my, look down there, can you see them? Three butternut squash plants down there, all in a row. Titato, one, two, three. And what the plan is, they're going to grow up this frame, all the way over the frame, and round and round. And um, hopefully, we'll get some nice butternut squashes like we've had a couple of years ago. Three. And now, if you look at them, han, han, ha! One month's growth. Han, han, han. Reveal. Look at that, that's amazing. It's gone all the way up. The three plants, 
you can't even see the individual plants now. It's all kind of like merged into one big wall of green leaves. So each plant down there has kind of like shot out two arms. One arm's gone to the front and one arm's gone to the back. So they're climbing up the sides, kind of like a race. And it's just taken over. So they've gone all the way up and all the way along. <laughs> yeah, and they're joining together. And I've had to actually add some, some bits there because it's gone off the end. And it's going, as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, let me show you. Uh, it's gone all the way up, all the way along, all three of them. So there's three coming along this way now. And off the end. And they're going towards the end of the garden. They'll probably go over the, over the fence and into the back green. There's one head coming up here. Look at this one, little one down here. This is one head of the first plant which was in this lineup. The front end and the back end is over there. And you can see it's gone all the way up. And there it is all the way along, going along. Yeah, and there's a couple of butternut squashes. Is one. Can you see this? Yeah, that's one right there. Right there. Beautiful. A potential butternut squash. I say potential because these, we've had a couple of these die already, die off. Because what happens is they bud, that flower on the end is going to open, and it needs to be pollinated with one of these down here. If we go down here, let's go down here. This is the male flower. The male flower. So the, the bees go in there, go in the female flower, the pollen off the male flower goes onto the bees and that pollinates the butternut squash fruit. And if the, enough of these male flowers are not open and there are not enough bees, then you have to do it yourself. You have to cut the flower off and kind of like pollinate it into the female flower. And when the first couple of butternut squashes buds came, there were no flowers, there were no male flowers. So I don't know what's going on. I mean, this, as big as this plant is, there's another one over there, but as big as this plant is, there is a very few male flowers on there. I don't know what's going on. There's another one over there, all the way at the back there. But there's very few. They open for a day and then they die. But there's so much potential flowers, plants, but for some reason, there's one over here, this little green one, and if you can see this right here, right here, right here, this thing here. Yeah, that's a flower, that's a male flower, but they just seem to stay green on this. So I don't know, here's another one right here. Can you see that right there? Right there. For some reason, they're just not maturing into flowers. They're just staying like that. So, I don't know. Three butternut squash plants that have taken over that frame in the space of one month. And it's all good. It's all good. And if you look down here, you can see the little spare one. Remember the little spare one that was job was to take over if any of them failed. And look how small it is in that little pot. It's got some flowers on it. It's got a flower there, which is good. But look how small it is. The others were this size. They were this size a month ago. Yeah, and this, this pot is not big enough for it to, to branch out and spread out and do its thing. So it's just going to stay small. I've got no space in the garden to put it. So I can't even plant it anywhere. It's just got to sit here and watch. So that go. Kind of everything. But it's just trying, look. It's growing out the end there. Can you see that? It's growing out the end and it's growing down. Down there. Out of this little pot. You can see the rhubarb down there again. We actually cleaned it all off. We ate the whole lot and it's coming back again in the space of one month. 
this thing gives and gives and gives and gives and gives and gives and gives some more. You don't even have to do anything. It's low maintenance rhubarb. If you've got a garden and you want to plant something, low maintenance vegetables, rhubarb, trust me. You put it in the ground and you forget about it. You fire and forget. You don't even have to feed it. It just does it all by itself. It's all good. So, episode two. And the garden of Daddy Aisha is in full flourish. It's a lovely space. Come out here and just chill in the evenings amongst the crops. So one episode to go. And in that one, we'll show you harvest. It should be harvest time. We'll have some stuff harvest, hopefully, fingers crossed. Not so sure about the butternut squashes day. Till I start seeing more flowers and more bees. Because I haven't seen very many bees this year for some reason. That's a bit of a worry. Uh, but the corn looks like it's coming along nicely. The Boris Johnsons. Must be a sign, who knows. Stay tuned for more. Inshallah. Zoom. Do put the 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 put the